हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु अरोड़ा फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ए मॉड्यूल टाइटल एल्डरली इशूज़ ऑफ लोनलीनेस एंड आइसोलेशन फ्रॉम द पेपर बायो सोशल जेरोटोलॉजी फर्स्ट लेट स्टार्ट विद द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द मॉड्यूल थ्रू दिस मॉड्यूल यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्चुअल फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ लोनलीनेस and isolation among elderly you will be able to develop insight about the attributes governing the incidence of loneliness and isolation among older population of the society you will be able to discern the impact the loneliness and isolation on the elderly you will able to understand the measures to mitigate and counter isolation and loneliness among elderly now we'll give you a glimpse of the topic through a brief introduction The 21st century is witnessing the crucial phenomenon of increasing longevity and tremendous increase in elderly faction of the society. Elderly experience an array of physical, psychological and social role changes that challenge their inner self and the ability to lead a healthy life. These people experience loneliness and depression in their last phase of life. either as a result of living alone or due to lack of close family relations and limited connections with their culture of origin which lead to an inability to actively participate in the community activities this poses a challenge to policy makers and administrator to address the needs of the elderly at the community level the health and quality of life of the senior citizens is negatively affected by the lack of social relationships limited social engagement and participation it is therefore important to address the issues of loneliness and social isolation in terms of their prevalence risk and protective factors in the senior population at the same time it is of paramount importance to create and implement innovative intervention strategies to counter this serious issues now we will talk about loneliness and isolation among the elderly being alone is one of the major problems faced by elderly in today's world loneliness isolation and social neglect constitute some of the most prevalent stereotypes of old age in fact loneliness and isolation or social isolation serves as a risk factor for various health issues grenet and baldy suggested that from a research perspective social isolation and loneliness are generally considered to be distinct although closely intertwined these are not the same issue the cause of loneliness are not just physical isolation and lack of companionship but also sometimes the lack of a useful role in society loneliness j h sheldon in 1948 introduced the concept of loneliness in his book the social medicine of old age sheldon asserted that loneliness cannot be simply addressed as a direct result of social circumstances he further suggested that it is an individual response to an external situation to which other elderly may react quite distinctively in broader context loneliness caters to a subjective feeling of being cut off from relevant and important social contacts it can be addressed as a mental state in which a person feels some sort of a vacuum it is displeasing feeling of lack of companionship that negatively affects the quality of life of aging adults and in certain cases even lead to depression it is not only triggered by circumstances and events but it also influenced by cultural and psychological attributes the relation between loneliness and isolation is complex in several cases isolated individuals do not experience loneliness on the other hand in some cases integrated people do experience lonely feeling 
Thus, loneliness is not an obvious manifestation of those who experience extreme isolation. Loneliness relates to subjective experience of a lack of satisfying human relationships. In accordance to the above statement, the quality of social relationships govern the experience of loneliness among the people. The feeling of loneliness has serious implications on physical and mental health among aging adults and contributes to anxiety and despair. It can lead to increased incidence of emergency hospitalization and slower recovery from strokes among elderly. This can further lead to depression and stress. Social isolation. In general, isolation is conceptualized as a relative lack of participation in social relationship. It is often perceived as an objective state that is associated to the subjective concept of loneliness and some suggest that loneliness itself is the subjective component of social isolation. Isolation can be categorized into two distinct domains, emotional isolation and social isolation. Emotional isolation is a type of desolation felt by the loss of someone close or an attachment figure and social isolation refers to a lack of engagement with others. Social isolation is defined as a state in which the individual lacks a sense of belonging socially, lacks engagement with others, has a minimal number of social contacts and they are deficient in fulfilling quality relationships. Although social isolation is frequently related with loneliness, it is important to highlight that social isolation is not always the main cause of loneliness. It can be extrapolated that an individual may experience loneliness despite having many interactions in distinct social network. Tunstall viewed social isolation as one of the four means of being alone, the other three being living alone, loneliness and anemia. He visualized two stages of concept of social isolation which involves firstly social isolation of the individual from his primary group, family and work and secondly his isolation from the larger community. Social isolation becomes more probable in cases where an elderly has few relatives and sees little of them. According to the Parsons, the old persons resides with his children either from the motive of economic support or to mitigate loneliness and social isolation. Victor Etel in the year 2000 emphasized that elderly may experience social isolation in four principal ways. First, in comparison with their contemporaries like peer group isolation. Secondly, by comparison with younger people that is generation contrasted isolation. Thirdly, in comparison with themselves at a younger age group that is age related isolation and lastly in comparison with older people from preceding generation that is preceding cohort isolation. Figure shows the schematic model of the relationship between resources, life events and loneliness or social isolation. Loneliness and isolation among elderly and its chief correlates. A multitude of attributes contribute to loneliness, namely living alone, advancing age, widowhood, low levels of education or income, poor health and infrequent contact with family. Besides poor health condition, poor vision, poor functional status and hearing impairment increased the prevalence of loneliness.
Nicholson in 2009 outlined five attributes of social isolation. These are number of contacts, feeling of belonging, fulfilling relationships, engagement, and quality of network members. Cassiopo et al. in 2002 showed that social network size was found to be associated with loneliness and depressive symptoms. Objective social isolation and low social support are associated with loneliness and depressive symptoms. Cassiopo et al. in 2010 stated that loneliness, depression symptoms, and their temporal connection are not attributes of social isolation, but those concepts can be causes of being socially isolated. Thus, a lack of a sense of social belonging, lack of social contacts, lack of fulfilling and quality relationships, psychological and physical barriers, low financial or resource exchange, and a prohibitive environment can possibly lead to social isolation. Personal circumstances, life events, loss and bereavement, widowhood, constitute important factors which govern the experience of loneliness and isolation. Loss of loved ones, retirement, migration to a new setting in old age, restricted and limited social participation, poor physical and mental health, and elderly to loneliness and isolation, age, gender, friendships and resources, that is income, social networks and health also influence the incidence of loneliness and isolation in the elderly. It is established that elderly women are more prone to experience loneliness and isolation than elderly men. The incidence of loneliness increases with age, loss of friends, poor income resources and poor quality of life, frequent contact with children and application of cross-generational contacts constitute effective measures to mitigate loneliness. But if an elderly is not feeling close to any of his or her children, then he or she may experience elevated rates of loneliness. Although isolation and loneliness are distinct concepts and issues, but physical isolation is still the single factor most closely linked with feeling lonely. It was found that social isolation is a predictor of loneliness, as is the amount of time spent alone. Living alone is an important parameter to characterize loneliness and isolation, although a clear association exists between isolation and living alone. But the link between living alone and loneliness is not clear. It has been demonstrated that whilst not everyone who lives alone is isolated, nearly everyone who is isolated lives alone. Impact of loneliness and isolation on elderly. The extensive and multifaceted impact of social isolation and loneliness on elderly well-being is an important issue to be addressed as these phenomena are linked with serious health and psychosocial consequences. The elderly are influenced by social isolation in a qualitatively similar manner to younger adults with typical isolation effects. Depression, fear and anxiety feelings are major psychosocial issues experienced by lonely and social isolated elderly. In addition to decline in social contact with friends and relatives and loneliness, economic uncertainty, distress and despair and instability will enhance anxiety conditions among the elderly. Depression is one of the most common manifestations of prolonged loneliness and social isolation among elderly. Reduced appetite, 
and impaired sleep are prominent indicators of depression the depressed elderly experience incompetence uselessness and worthlessness and even curse themselves they express anger on the people in their limited social network which further aggravates the issue of social isolation and it may lead to suicidal tendencies it can trigger various psychosocial problem such as regressive thought pattern extreme emotional distress and mental disorders this condition negatively affects quality of aging and increases the risk of survival among elderly it has been emphasized that loneliness and isolation have triggered several health related issues in the elderly Diner et al in the year 1999 stated that decline of social connection is attributed as one of the several interrelated parameters which compose well-being among the elderly socially isolated individuals are more prone to health related issues Cassiopo et al in the year 2002 pointed that social isolation has been linked with elevated vascular resistance depreciated sleep elevated blood pressure impaired immunity alcoholism progression to alzheimer disease obesity and poorer physical health in addition specific social isolation negative effects linked to social network include drinking falls depressive symptoms cognitive depreciation and poor outcome after stroke nutritional risk increased rates of rehospitalization loneliness and changes in the family process therefore it can be emphasized that social isolation has a crucial impact on elderly well-being prolonged loneliness also adversely affects elderly well-being mullen settle in the year 1996 stated that depreciated cognitive capacity low income limited social relationships and reduced participation in social networks along with infertility depression and anxiety are all associated with feeling of loneliness loneliness leads to increased incidence of high blood pressure high cholesterol and obesity in addition loneliness elevates the risk of heart disease and the aging process older women report more loneliness than male loneliness leads to depression and this can further lead to suicidal attempts former is linked with impaired psychological adjustment and social relationship loneliness has adverse physiological impact on the body loneliness is a stress factor which leads to elevated blood pressure sleep problems impaired adrenal cortical activity diminished immunity white blood cell count cardiovascular disease obesity and elevated cholesterol levels in the body of the elderly impaired adrenal cortical activity as a result of loneliness leads to high cortical levels in the body high cortical levels in the body can lead to anxiety depression digestive problems heart disease sleep problems and weight gain elevating isolation and loneliness among elderly it is the need of the art to develop insight about the measures to elevate isolation and loneliness among the elderly canada's national senior council report in the year 2014 on the social isolation of seniors outlined four specific measures to mitigate social isolation first raise public awareness of the social isolation of seniors second to promote improved access to information and services and programs for senior third to build the capacity of organizations to address isolation of seniors through social innovation and lastly to support research to a better understanding the issue of social isolation proper implementation of these measures is also paramount it is quintessential to strengthen family as a basic unit of care of the aged elderly should regularly interact with younger faction of the society and propagate their experiences 
and views about personal and professional life this would enable elderly to actively participate in social gathering and alleviate loneliness and isolation as experienced by them it is important for old people to interact with outside world and upgrade and broaden their social circle this can be achieved by utilization of modern day communication system they should utilize various social networking sites to share their views this would provide them public recognition and reduce the feeling of social isolation it is essential on the part of elderly to retain familiarity and adapt to the changing home environment and circumstances walters et al in the year 1999 stated that a complex network of different types of friendships might be the best protection against loneliness government should ensure that the basic rights of the aged are fulfilled effectively they should be acquainted with suitable housing cost effective healthcare facilities and adequate employment opportunities irrespective of age efficient community services which includes adequate cost effective transportation should be ensured for elderly which can provide a choice in supported living arrangement and social assistance in a coordinated manner composite homes for elderly women and children should be developed so as to maintain familial setting where each member could interact with the other and share his or her view this would significantly help to counter loneliness among the elderly walter settle in the year 1999 pointed out that programs that allow older people to be involved in planning developing and delivering activities are most likely to be effective to alleviate social isolation and loneliness we will summarize what we have studied till now elderly in today's world are experiencing an array of age related changes and issues social isolation and loneliness have become the main obstacle for them as they hinder their all round development and well being lack of social relationships and limited social participation negatively affect their health and quality of life therefore it is of paramount importance that the issue of loneliness and social isolation and analyze the alliance between social isolation loneliness and well-being at the same time it is also essential to create and implement innovative intervention strategies and measure to alleviate this serious issue the issue of loneliness and isolation are distinct loneliness in particular refers to a subjective and unwelcoming feeling associated with person's own experience of deficient social relations that negatively affects the quality of life of aging adults and in certain cases even leads to depression on the other hand isolation is conceptualized as a relative lack of participation in social relationships the feeling of loneliness among elderly is influenced by the quality of social relationships they indulge in loneliness and social isolation affect the physical and mental health of aging adults and can even create serious psychosocial issues in front of them the connection between social isolation and loneliness is complicated although social isolation is often linked with loneliness it should be emphasized that former is not always the prime cause of loneliness as an individual may experience loneliness despite having interactions in distinct social networks loneliness has many different causes that affect aging differently such as living alone advancing age widowhood low levels of education or income poor health and infrequent contact with the family an array of attributes influencing 
the feeling of loneliness and social isolation experienced by elderly these li includes living alone demographic traits such as advancing age gender resources like income social network and health widowhood low educational status poor physical and mental health condition depreciated social participation and infrequent contact with the family members the extensive influence of social isolation and isolation on elderly well-being is a significant issue to be addressed as these phenomena have serious health and psychosocial consequences and implications depression fear anxiety feelings are principal psychosocial issues experienced by elderly and social isolated elderly in addition to depreciation in social contact with friends and relatives economic uncertainty distress despair and instability will further trigger the anxiety conditions among the senior citizens prolonged loneliness and isolation causes serious health issues in elderly social isolation has been associated with several health related issues namely elevated vascular resistance elevated blood pressure impaired sleep pattern poor immunity obesity poor physical health prolonged long loneliness also adversely affect elderly well being various issues such as impaired cognitive capacity low income limited social relationships and reduced participation in social networks and depression despair along with infertility and anxiety are closely linked with the feeling of loneliness besides these loneliness can lead to increased incidence of heart disease high blood pressure high cholesterol obesity and impaired adrenal cortical gland and activity several studies have reported that older women report more loneliness than males loneliness is closely linked with depression and this can further lead to suicidal attempts several measures such as connecting with the people friends peers using modern communication methods making friends social contacts should be implemented by the elderly at the individual level the role of government and non government organizations is also crucial to promote elderly well being when we do things for aging people aging people are never lonely government should efficiently implement the basic rights of aged as it can help to promote all round the well being of elderly and counter the issue of loneliness and isolation effectively senior citizens should be acquainted with suitable accommodation cost effective healthcare infrastructure and adequate employment opportunities irrespective of age effective community services which includes adequate cost effective transportation should be ensured for elderly composite homes where elderly women and children can reside together under one roof should be formulated so as to maintain familial setting where each member could interact with the other and share his or her view thus the activation participation of elderly young generation government official and policy makers can help the senior citizens to overcome the feeling of isolation and loneliness thank you